back again with My Hero Academia, this time season 3, episode 16. Yes, and the test has officially begun. The, the provisional license test has officially begun. And as of right now, it looks like UA is fucked. How many did they say? Over 1,500 people are in this test and only 100 of them are going to pass. So odds are against us already. Hugely against us already. Uh, but we're also going up against people who are in later years. So you're going up against second and third years. People who've had longer experience. Although not many people can say they've faced off against the League of Villains twice and survived. So we've got that going for us. But we're also at a huge disadvantage. I love how we're saying we as if I'm part of UA. But UA is the only school that has their strengths and weaknesses broadcast to the entire country because of the sports festival. So everyone everyone there already know. well, everyone who watched the sports festival, which I assume is everyone. So everyone has already seen what UA can do. And so they're like, ah, huh, we'll exploit their weaknesses and we'll crush them immediately. And since you only need to eliminate two people in this test to win, of course everyone's going to go for the easiest targets, which is, at the moment, Class 1A. So, yeah, we're screwed! And when I when I say everyone, I mean, I mean a few of them are a bunch of characters we met last episode. What is it? Two new schools. I mean, obviously there's more than two schools here, but uh, Shiketsu High and... Ketsubitsu, I think they, I think Miss Joke called it, which Miss Joke was a character we introduced last episode as well. She's got an interesting dynamic with the Eraser, hasn't she? She's got an interesting dynamic with Aizawa. And it's... It's kind of the one I expected. It seems that Eraser is allergic to happiness, it seems. Yeah, other characters we met last episode were Yuarashi, who... Apparently got the most scores on the recommended exam for UA, but then turned his acceptance down for some reason, which I have no doubt we're going to learn more about that. And other people from Shiketsu High as well, I have no doubt we're going to learn more about them. Uh, and then from Ketsubitsu, we met... we all, the, only, the only one named was Shindo, who basically looks like Midori's older brother. It looks like that. Just looks-wise and hairstyle-wise, Midoriya, Shindo, and Dabi look like they could all be related. Just hairstyle-wise. But yeah, Shindo was the only one who was named, but there was a, a couple of other ones there as well. And yeah, uh, a few of our characters have got new upgrades in their costumes. Uh, Midori's got his long arm. Long, glo long arm length gloves now. He's got the iron soles on his boots. Kirishima and Kaminari got a few upgrades, as well as Jiro got some headphones. Todoroki's got some uh, bracelets. And Koda's got this awesome looking mask. So, yeah, a few of our characters have got a little few upgrades to go with it. And it looks like our crew is going to have to stick together in a group if they want to pass this exam. I mean, or, uh, three of them have already jumped ship. Bakugo, because he obviously doesn't work with anyone else, and Kirishima's just followed him. And Todoroki's gone off on his own as well, because he says his power doesn't work when he's in big groups, which is understandable enough, but I am worried about them passing this exam if they're going to go off on their own like that. And, yeah, Midori has just taken charge. He's a leader of Class 1A at the moment. So, it's interesting to see him step into this role, but I've babbled enough, I'm five minutes in already, so... Yeah, let's just get going. Not wasting more time, let's just get into Season 3, Episode 16 of My Hero Academia, starting now! We've seen it time and time again mm. this exam. I'm sure 1A will be, will be the first. Look at him, he's got that confidence in his class. Shiketsu High lurking. Okay, we're going to learn more about these people. Whoa! Go on, Jiro, show what you can do. Go 
go on. <laughs> Attack this pup. No pervy common. Oh! Yeah! What's his power? Woo! Oh! Oh man! I'm getting that impression from what we just saw. Oh! Oh no! And she's gone again. Oh, spider legs. Oh. See more. We're back together again. No. You're someone from Shiketsu. I'm what? Uraraka has been working on her cork, training hard. She can even ignore its side effects for a short period of time and use it to make herself <coughs> without getting sick. It's not like the Uraraka I know. So who are you? Oh my god! Oh, I see now. So you're just that good of a guy, huh? Wow. Please tell me more about yourself. Holy what? What happened to your clothes? You're basically naked! I'll get dressed when my mission's complete. She scratched me? What's the matter with this girl? Wow. Sarah! There we go, there's the real one. I really, really wanted to talk to you some more, but not with so many people around. She's a bit of a flirt, isn't she? You two are actually you, right? Huh? What are you talking about? Well, earlier that girl transformed into Uraraka's phone. <laughs> So we're a trio from now. What next? Come on, Sarah. We meet up with the rest of the class. Looks like 52. Make that 53 at that. Okay. This is filling up fast. That was pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the run of the UA Sports Festival. Color coded ninjas. Looks like a quote that makes things bigger. That's not all I brought with me. Your fire won't work against any of my tools. Tungsten has a super high melting point. Wow. Well then, your pride will be your downfall. <laughs> What? Oh, 
Oh no! Ugh. No, there's no end credit scene. Uh, I was not ready for that episode to end. I was not ready. That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. Ugh. Okay. A lot of info got dumped on us this episode. Quite a bit of action as well. Maybe I should get the ranking out of the way first. This episode was definitely better than the last one, I think. But we'll see where the ranks. Okay. Better than episode one. Yes, I already said it would be better than these ones. So better than episode 12, better than episode 2, better than episode 3, better than episode 13, episode 14 and 15. Was it better than episode 5? I think it might be. So in, instead of keeping with 13, 14 and 15, it's skipping ahead of episode 5. And is it better than episode 6? Ooh. This is tough. Better than episode 6. Purely in the interest of one in this... Uh, purely in the interest of one in these episodes to be better, I will say yes, but I won't put it above episode 7. I don't believe... Actually, will I? I think I will. I think I'll put it above episode 7. Better than episode 8. This is slowly climbing up the ranks. What was episode 8 again? Yeah, this was the episode where... Uh, they all went to, well, like five students, five of our students went to Camino, Camino Ward. Okay. I think this episode might be better than that, so this goes above episode eight. So, yeah, this one climbed up majorly from the ranks of 13, 14, and 15. So, yeah. 16 takes the number five spot. A big leap up from the previous previous episode. Wow, but that doesn't mean last episode was bad. It was very good, but this was just awesome. Uh, we got a lot. We got a lot on the new on some of the new people. I didn't manage. I didn't manage to write down everyone's names and their quirks at the same time. I did get uh, Makabe and Shindo. And I hope I got Makabe right. I hope his name's not wrong. Yeah, Maka Makabe, his quirk is stiffening. He can make things super hard. And it looks like Ketsubutsu. I kept calling it Ketsubitsu. It's Ketsubutsu. Seems like they're they're working together quite well. They've got they've got a team got a team plan. And Shindo, his quirk is vibrate. And he used it to just collapse the entire ground. So, I, I wonder how powerful it is, because he, he seemed to just create an entire earthquake. Uh, Toteki and Nakagame, I think that's their names. Totoki, and his, his power is boomerang. He can send, well, let's see. He can throw objects at any trajectory with stupidly precise aim, even underground. Where are the... Well, there you go then. He's basically Bullseye from <laughs> from Daredevil. And what, who was the other one? Yeah, Nakagami. She can pull her body into itself, and it looked freaky. Like for a second there, I thought I thought she was cut in half when her body just went into her lower half. I was freaked out for a second. So yeah, quite a bit on people from Ketsubutsu, uh, Miss Joke's class. Awesome looking, awesome powers as well. But I don't think any of them really held a candle to Yuarashi when he showed up. He eliminated 120 people. You only have to pass, you only have to eliminate two to pass. <laughs> and his power is apparently called Whirlwind, so I imagine he controls the wind. He's definitely living up to his reputation of the highest recommended scores, and probably better than Todoroki. He is certainly living up to that. Holy crap. His costume looks awesome as well. And, yeah, in the meanwhile... Uh, 
Meanwhile, Shindo collapses the ground and separates all of Class 1A. And so everyone's just in these these rub this rubble now, these ruins, and can't find anyone. And Midoriya comes Midoriya gets one gets one of his his targets lit up. So Midoriya is down to two lives. And he got he got that from some girl named Kame or Kame. They didn't say her name, but they just it was in the they gave her a little subtitle. Uh, Kami. I'm gonna I'm gonna call her Kami right now. Yeah. She was a bit of a seductive one, wasn't she? And apparently her power is that she just holds her breath and she can create these illusions. But then again I'm not so sure. Yeah. She's an interesting one, isn't she? They had a bit of quality time to each other when they were talking and she was just restraining him. And he he couldn't do a thing to her. But then when, then when Katsubutsu arrived, uh, she disappeared, but she reappeared again, but we didn't realise it. She was able to disguise herself as Uraka, and when they were alone together, Midoriya and U Uraka, and she tried, and she tried eliminating him, I was like, what the hell? I thought, is it going to be a twist where she like gives him the ball or something? But then we just had the bomb drop on us that it's not actually her. That's mad. That's mad. And then she just... The... The disguise just melts away and... She's not, na she's not naked, she's in this white bodysuit or something. And yeah, Midoriya pointed out she's not wearing her targets anymore, so... Is she... Does she get disqualified or something? Is she even a part of this exam at this point? I don't fucking know. But yeah. Uh, Uraka and Sero arrived to help out Midoriya. I'm glad that Sero is part of this this crew. Maybe he'll be a bit a bigger a, a bit more of a bigger deal now going forward because when you put Midoriya with someone in the class, they mean a bigger deal later on. Like in the first in the first season at the USJ, it happened with Sue and Mineta. They were they were just stuck with Midori in the shipwreck zone, and now they seem like a bigger deal. They seem like bigger characters just because of that one experience. They did the same with Todoroki, and Todoroki in the sports festival, and Tokoyame in the in the cavalry battle, and Hatsume as well, Shinzo as well to a, to an extent in the training camp. Skipping over the rest of season two, going into the training camp. Uh, you had Shoji who, as well who was with Todoroki and Midori when they were trying to save Bakugo and Tokoyama from Mr. Compress and that made Shoji look like a bigger deal and then in the Kamino, in the Kamino Ward the All for One stuff you had Kirishima and Yairose go with them so they seem like bigger characters so now you're doing the same with Sero here and I like it I want Midori to spend quality time with each of these characters. Every single person in Class 1A deserves this moment. And Sero is getting his at the moment. Yeah. Uraka, Uraka said it herself, like... So we're a trio now, meaning her, Midori, and Sero. And that just saying that makes Sero seem like a bigger deal. So it's the three of them now off to find the rest of their class. I wonder who they're going to come across next. Meanwhile, Todoroki, Bakugo and Kirishima were not seen at all in this episode. Which I'm surprised about, but we did see Todoroki is in this this industrial site. And he came across and as well, the spaces are filling up fast, the the complete mood of a of an announcer. He was just like what is it now? Like over two hundred people have been eliminated and over half of the places have already been taken. Half of the people have already passed. More than half of the people have already passed, so you can't, like Todoroki, he said, he can't afford to wait because this is filling up quite fast. And I wonder if any of them are from Class 1A yet. But then again, I imagine they would have told us, they would have shown us if people from Class 1A were, were passing. 
Unless it's just been off screen and we'll see it next episode or something. So I wonder if any of Class 1A have actually passed yet. But yeah, then Todoroki came across a group of colour-coded ninjas. I wonder what school they're from. Interesting. And then uh, one of them, the red one, had this power to just make things bigger. To get to bigger things. So, yeah. Now Todoroki's up against a small army of ninjas. So, yeah. Todoroki, Todoroki's up against ninjas. Midoriya, Uraraka, and Sero are off to find the rest of the class. God only knows what Bakugo and Kirishima are doing. And, yeah, this has just been very, very interesting. I love seeing uh, Ketsubutsu's powers. I loved seeing Yuarashi's power. And I like that Sero is getting his moment now. So, yeah. I love this episode. I can't wait for the next one. But that is all we've got for this week of My Hero Academia. Until next time, we are over and out.